Right, today we are going to the international food market here in Las Vegas. Um, I'm in the search of some British traditional Christmas desserts and treats and some savory bits. Now, because of all the shipping in um, the shipping is the shipping issues that we're having in this country, and I'm sure all around the world, I'm not sure how much they're going to have. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed, keep a positive mindset, and hopefully they have the usual stuff that I shop for every Christmas. So I'm going to go down there, I'm going to shop, and then I'm going to show you my haul of all the Christmas British treats. Okay, so here we are at the International Marketplace, and it is on the corner of Tropicana and Decatur. So it's on the southeast corner of Tropicana and Decatur. Okay guys, so the international food shop was a success. I'm just gonna do a quick scan of everything that I bought and then I'm gonna go through and do some explaining of what some of this stuff is. So all of this haul right here, let me do a further away look, was $171. So now I'm gonna show you the frozen stuff first so I can put it away in the freezer. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the British bacon. This is an eight, eight ounce pack. There's five rashers in here. I think I counted five. And this is how much meat you get on each rasher. And this is 550 a pack. So I bought two of these and the British bacon is actually my husband's favorite. He prefers British bacon to American bacon. Whereas I prefer the American bacon to the British bacon. So the next thing, every, every house in England will eat these sausage rolls. Now they're calling these cocktail banger rolls. These were $11.99 and these are scrummy. They're actually really easy to make and I will probably do a video of me making some, but out of being very lazy, I thought I'd buy a pack. And again, $11.99. The next two items are pasties and in here we have cheese and onion pasty and it says it has cheddar, Monterey Jack, mozzarella, parmesan, onions and potatoes and in this one it's beef onion pasty and it says ground beef, onions and spices. So let me look up and see how much these were. These were $6.29 each. Okay, so I'm gonna go put the frozen food away real quick. Okay, next are the drinks. So we have the Robertson Orange Squash, and that is 4.19. And I guess I better explain, when we say orange squash, I don't mean it's orange and the vegetable squash. It's what we call this, um, this fruit mixture. So what you would do is you pour a little bit of this into a glass. So say if your glass is uh, like 16 ounces, you'd probably pour about one ounce of orange squash into your glass and then the rest would be just regular old water and you just mix it up. So I think this is kind of like England's version of uh, Kool-Aid, I think. Not as much sugar, I don't think. But anyway, orange squash is 4.19. This brand is Miwadi. It's lemon, it has vitamin Bs in it. So 3.56 for this one. The next one, oh, it's another Miwadi. Summer Fruits. And this one is also 3.56. This one has no added sugar. So again, a little bit this, a little bit of water. Kids love it, grown-ups love it. Everyone loves it in England. And then this one, this one is awesome. This one's probably my favorite. So this is the brand Robinson's and I grew up drinking this and this is barley water and it's orange flavor. And this one is 5.45. So imagine this goes actually a long way. So um, these drinks I love to keep in the house for when you know the grandchildren come around. Okay, so the next thing is Piccalilli Pickle. Um, this has cauliflower and I believe raisins in. Um, 
this you would have with like if you're doing a tea and you have like cheeses and crackers pickles hams cold meats you would put some pickle lily on this on your uh, plate so what we would have in a pub is a plowman's lunch so you have several cheeses pickle lily some branston pickle i think i bought some plowman's pickle here um, it's a very unique flavor and every time i've offered this to my american friends they don't like it the pickle lily pickle is 4.19 a jar and the plowman's pickle is 3.98 a jar now english folks do love a good curry so i also bought a jar of jalfrezi curry now they actually have this in smith's also but i saw this so i thought i'd pick it up now this is seven dollars and thirteen cents i think this might be slightly more expensive than the smith's brand and with a good curry you need a good chutney so this is major gray chutney sweet mango and ginger so this sounds amazing i think this one so it, it has a bit of a kick to it it is mild so how much is this this is five dollars and 55 cents and with your curry so you would cook the sauce with the chicken have a little bit of chutney on the side and with that you need the popper doms and I'll show you how to cook these one day. I'll do a curry one night. So you have to have your popper doms, 366. So these are essential. You have to have these for the curry. And then lastly, good old pickled onions. And these are really big pickled onions. They come in all different sizes, but these are the really good ones. So these are 461. And these are gonna be a gift for my grandson because he loves these. Okay, so the next little group is canned food. So the first thing is spaghetti hoops. These are 282 a can. Then we have the macaroni cheese and a creamy sauce. That's 261. Oh, these are so good. These are beans, um, but they're curry flavored beans. These are 4 dollars a can, a little bit pricey, but they're worth it. Um, hot cut vegetable soup, um, that is $2.82. And then lastly, the grandson requested these, again, spaghetti hoops, um, I'm not sure, I think they're just a different brand from these. So it's the same thing, just a different brand. These are Heinz and these are 282. So in most British homes, you will go to their house on Christmas day and find a bag of quality street. They'll either be in a bag like this or they'll be in a tin. Now, how much did I pay for this? Okay, so this bag cost me $12.59. Now you can buy a tin, about yay size, that's $27. And there's two types of chocolates that you will find in someone's house in England. It'll either be Quality Street or it's going to be Roses. And at the International Food Store, they have tins of both. So they're both $27, but I opted for the small bag because they're just not going to get eaten unless we have friends over so um i opted for this bag 12.59 and i didn't go for the the roses because they only had the tins they didn't have the smaller bags for the roses so i also bought a six pack of mr kipling mince pies these are awesome um you can eat these cold you can eat them hot um if you want to put them in the microwave for 15 seconds, 20 seconds, they're perfect. And generally you eat them with either fresh cream, ice cream, or custard. So these were $6.29, good price. Okay, now for the fun stuff, right? First things first, 
So I'm sure you've all seen the square boxes that have the round chocolate orange and you're supposed to tap it and unwrap it. Well now they have it in a chocolate bar form. I've never seen these before. They're called Terry's Chocolate Orange Bar and it's the white chocolate. These were 272 each. So yeah, it'd be fun to try these. The next is my husband's favorite. It's a mint aero. And let me show you, this is what it looks like. It's really bubbly on the inside. It's very unique. I don't think there's anything like this that's American. So yeah, let me know in the comments if there is something similar to this um, in America. I, I don't think there is. And in England, we tend to go for mint flavored chocolate, whereas in America, it's peanut butter. So um, yeah, we go for the mint. So this is 3.55. That's for the mint one. And then this one, I've never seen this one before. It's the white inside. So I'm sure it's just like white chocolate flavored. Um, it may be vanilla. I don't see anywhere where it says an actual flavor. But again, it's the same price. Moving on to Maltesers. Now, America has malt balls and we have Maltesers. And the difference is, I think this is honeycomb versus a stronger malt flavor, like the malt balls. And the malt balls, when you crunch into them, they're harder than the Maltesers. And these like dissolve very quickly on the tongue. They're very, very good. So good. If you ever see these, buy them and try them. So Maltesers, these are a gift for my husband, he loves these, $12.59. And there's a lot in this box. So I'll open these up one day and show you. But yes, if you see these, try these, you will love them. Wagon wheels. We have two different styles. We have the blue packet and the red packet. The blue packet has the jam or the jelly in the middle. And this one is just the marshmallow. And the only thing that I can think of that is similar in America is moon pies, moon pies. So these are similar to moon pies. I think they're a little better. These are 524 a packet and there's six in a packet. Next, Jaffa cakes. So these are my daughter's favorite. Every time I go to England, I always have to bring some back. And let me see, they are, I zoom in on that picture. They're like a soft, cakey biscuit at the bottom. And then it's like a very orange, tangy, like a, a jello jelly filling, and then chocolate covered. It's a bit hard to describe these, but again, very good. These are 482 each. And then this is a candy that I bought for my personal trainer because I was trying to explain the difference between the two um, candies like uh, mint flavor and the peanut butter, how we kind of go for the mint flavor candies. So I was explaining this one to her. I said, well, if they have any at the international food store, I'll pick one up. They didn't have the regular mint flavor, but they did have the peppermint flavor. And these are delicious. It's just like a long bar and there's like little lines where you can snap each one. So there's like five, sec five or six segments within one bar. So this is 188. Now we're gonna go on to the chips or the crisps. So we have skips. These are prawn cocktail flavor and all the crisps and chips are all 114, 125 and 146. Smoky bacon flavor. Then we have sour, oh, I bought the wrong ones, whoops. So I didn't mean to buy these. These are sour cream and onion, which obviously you can get in America. These, now this brand I've never heard of before and I've never seen this style of chip before, but these are pickled onion flavor. These are 
my favorite flavor. I just haven't seen them in this brand before. And then these are also um, corn cocktail flavor, but they're a little bit different from these because these are shaped like little flowers. And when you put them on your tongue, they kind of melt away. Whereas these are a regular chip. So anyway, all of that was 171.78. I am going to do a shot of this, so if there's anything you want to take a screenshot of. The International Food Market is on the corner of Tropicana and Decatur. It's open every day except Sundays, I believe, and you can become a member, and the membership is $15 a year, and every time you purchase something, you'll get 5% off. I don't shop there enough, to make that worthwhile. But if you are a restaurant or you go there often, it's definitely worth doing the membership. So I do wanna zoom in on these quality streets and all the different flavors. These are awesome. Every time I've had my American friends try these, they want to purchase them because these are really a good chocolate. Today's date is December the 8th. And before I went down to the international food market, I was a little bit worried. I thought that it might be their shelf, but actually I found the opposite. It's probably the best stocked shelves that I've ever seen. And I've been shopping there for over 20, well, 24 years I've been shopping there. So the freezer section is absolutely jammed, packed full of British goodies. You've got the sausages, the bacon, the Irish bacon, the Irish sausages, you have frozen cakes, even frozen Brit British bread. Oh gosh, they had mince pies, they had pork pies, they had um, the pasties, they had like five different flavors of pasties, they had different types of pies. I mean, I, I just could keep going on and on. I could have spent an absolute fortune if I wanted to. And let me see, I'm trying to think of the different aisles that they had, they had Japanese, Chinese, German, Italian, Poland, East, Eastern European, Belgium. They had a whole aisle of Belgian chocolates. So if ever you just want to go and have a look around, prepare to spend at least a good hour in there looking around and I'm sure you will not leave empty handed. And as I open these items, I will video them and show you exactly what they're like. Okay, that's my haul done. We're gonna go pick some lunch now. And I think someone over there, a little, a little man over there, wants some spaghetti hoops.